Hello and welcome to another of our wild box recipes. Today we're going to be cooking with um, this fermented birch sap which is infused with chamomile and we have marinated some prawns in the fermented birch sap. We've also marinated some oyster mushrooms so there's a plant based option as well. Um, the main plant that we're putting in from the wild today in fact the only plant is, is hogweed and we're going to be peeling these stems and cooking it with some lettuce and some spring onion briefly and then I'll be frying an egg and putting it inside these pitters for the uh, prawns and then we have tahini with marmite mixed in which is going to be a nice combo for the oyster mushrooms. So without further ado I'll just uh, chop out the veggies. So what we're going to find happening is what's, what's known as umami synergy. It's going to come through with the flavours here. And what that is, is your tongue has receptors which will detect uh, the savoury umami flavour, but only when two chemicals are present. So those are free glutamate and wonderful things called ribonucleotides. Now there's lots of free glutamate in the birch sap, and I believe a certain amount in these vegetables as well. Ribonucleotides we find in the prawns and in the mushrooms. So when those come together, we have a sort of um, sort of flavour explosion with that combination that makes those those uh, rich savoury notes come through. So for the hot weed, what we do is we um, trim off just the stems. These leaves can be used for lots of other things, but we're not going to use them today. Turn these down. The skin or the pith around the outside is, is, is quite tough, a little bit too tough for the delicacy of the other ingredients. That said, you could perfectly well use it um, chopped into small pieces with the with the skin on if you want a little bit of extra fibre. And a little bit of extra fibre is certainly no bad thing. I, I think we generally eat far too little fibre in the West. Um, nevertheless, I'm going to go for the more delicate texture today. So we we'll take half of our vegetable mixture, put in some nice hot oil. And just turn that around for more so. Some of the mushrooms. And some of the birch sap. Now in the meantime, I'm going to get one of these pitters going. It's a wholemeal pitter. Okay, so the birch sap is reducing down nicely now and steaming the vegetables and also intensifying that chamomile flavour that's infused. And just while that's reducing down a little bit more, I'm going to put in some of our tahini and marmite mixture. And by the way, marmite is also another really excellent source of ribonucleotides for that umami synergy that I was mentioning earlier. Just a little pinch of salt. Okay, so that's dish number one finished. Okay, so 
we're now going to do our fermented bird sap and prawn dish. Uh, here we go, the vegetables. Closely followed by the prawns. And the birch sap. Again, we're going to let that just bubble and steam for a few minutes. Get the flavour of the sap and the chamomile into the vegetables. And reduce it down a bit. But this time, we have an added element, which is an egg. So this is going to be a kind of a cuddled egg, rather than fried, it's, it's going to be cooked by the sap. That's our pizza that's just popped over, over there. I'll be giving that some attention. Okay, that's pretty much ready to go now. So prawns and veggies in, and then I'm gonna pop the egg in and flip it over so that the yolk nicely bleeds all over everything. And uh, creates like a sauce. And there we are, cuddled egg. Prawns in fermented birch sap with chamomile and stir-fried veggies with hot weed stems. <laughs>